So you're thinking about having your first ever Reiki healing session and you want to know what it is that you can expect. Before we jump into that, please allow me to introduce myself first. Hi, my name is Crystal Keen from Lightworker Sisterhood and I am a Reiki Master Teacher and Grand Master of Atlantean Reiki and Lemurian Lights. Now, I, <laughs> being in this field, I love love, love dealing with people that are absolutely new to having Reiki healing sessions done because you all are so open and honest and just, you know, you don't know what to expect and then your minds, <laughs> your minds are always blown and that is not me laughing, making fun of you. It's just such a joyous thing to go through. Okay, so here are some things that you could expect and could experience. Warmth, is 100% something that you can expect because Reiki is very warm so you're gonna feel warmth coming from the hands of the practitioner and traveling throughout your body so definitely expect that you could feel cold because there are different symbols that will be drawn on you or at least drawn on the hands of the practitioner and one of them does have a cold feeling to it um, you could feel tingles that can be pretty normal to feel tingles throughout your body. Don't be alarmed if you feel that. You could feel spasms as well. So the spasms are when energy blockages are being removed. When we go through trauma, when we go through difficulties, when we go through limiting beliefs and you know those narratives that keep us stuck, it creates blockages within our body. And so when you feel the spasming in your body, you know that blockages are being removed. You can also hear signs and go through signs of transmutation. And transmutation just means when it's going from something dense and heavy, being transmuted into something lighter and released, such as stomach grumbles. So if you aren't hungry and your stomach is grumbling, then you know that you're transmuting. Um, you could have yawning as well. Yawning is a way that we release. You can absolutely be lulled to sleep. You know, you're laying on a table or you're sitting and your eyes are closed the whole time. That's the most beneficial thing to do. Not laying there with your eyes open, but actually laying there with your eyes closed, you know, in a meditative kind of state. So that way the healing can take place on a deeper level for you. Uh... And falling asleep is definitely something that happens to a lot of people and it's okay you're able to be kind of vulnerable in that state now some other things that could happen is you could have a release of emotions a lot of people hold on to emotions they don't allow themselves to express and then when the session is going on all these emotions are coming up so you're in a safe space where you're able to express yourself without judgment so if you feel like that you need to cry or something, then you are encouraged to do it because your body is telling you now is the time to release it. It's okay. This is what you're here for. You're here to maybe help with pain relief, um, stress and anxiety relief, uh, blockage removal, opening up your chakras as well. You know, people come for different reasons. Uh, maybe you've been through a lot of trauma and there's a lot of um, emotions that are associated with that. So you could experience an emotional release. Seeing colors is very common as well. Usually you see the color of the chakra that the energy is going to. So perhaps a practitioner, for example, is working on your head. And normally you would see uh, violet or indigo around that area, but instead you're seeing yellow. It doesn't mean that the energy isn't going to your head. It means that the energy is also going to, say, your solar plexus, you know, to kind of heal that power center, help you bring your power back, to help you with your confidence and heal anything that has happened that has hurt you in that area. Um, you can also see some people that I've worked with have experienced like um, maybe seeing like a peachish color with other colors in it. 
we call in our spirit guides and our higher selves and angels and anyone else that wants to come through. And these entities, not meaning dark entities, okay? I don't want you to get confused and think dark entities, but these entities, they could have different colors. I mean, if you look up different orbs and what they mean, you'll see that um, archangels and stuff, they'll have different colors to them. So that could be something for you to look up if you see different colors that aren't necessarily associated with the chakras. I'm trying to think, oh, you could have um, releases within your body. In fact, several releases. So say that you come in for shoulder pain and the practitioner is working on your shoulder. You may feel a release in your shoulder and then they could be working on a different part of your body and you feel another release because it could be associated with different areas. And I want you to remember and to look into this as well, that each body part does have a spiritual lesson attached to it. So you could just Google or DuckDuckGo or whatever um, spiritual lesson behind the knee, you know, to see why you're having pain in that area and stuff. Um, and then still go see the practitioner to help you as well. And I, uh, one more thing that I want you to remember is that your practitioner is a conduit through which the energy is flowing. You are going to them to heal, but they're helping you to get into a state where you can relax enough where you could be receptive enough to accept this energy to heal yourself. Your body is intuitive. It is extremely smart and knows what to do with the energy that's being put into it. So I hope that this answered some of your questions. I hope that this eased your mind and I hope that you enjoy your session. Have a beautiful and wonderful day.